What's up, guys? Carmine here from Cartridge Last Gamers, accompanied by John, as always. Hey, guys. We're here doing another Modern Monday, and uh, it just so happens that the dawning is out, which is the actual seasonal um, event that's going on for Destiny Rise of Iron right now. I'm a huge Destiny guy. I play a ton of it, probably more than I'm even happy about <laughs> saying I do. Um, but this is the new event, um, and there's a lot going on with it, John. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I saw it come out, and you know, we were playing a little bit of it. Mm. I mean, you played a lot of it, but I yes. saw I saw the new updates and everything like that. So, going into it, like, what did you like best about it, or what would you say to somebody that would want to play it? Um, I think looking at what this this is now, um, Rise of Iron came out in September. This is obviously one of the events, one of the many events they actually do throughout the year. Um, this is the first time I've seen them do like the live team actually go in and make an event that I feel is actually worth it. Uh, they had in October, they had the Festival of the Lost, which is like their Halloween event. Right. Um, a lot of people were frustrated about that because there was a lot of stuff behind microtransactions that not everybody was really happy about. Yeah. They kind of pumped the brakes on this one. So right off the bat, I think they did themselves justice by doing that. Um, but the dawning in general, what it is, they added in new quest lines, uh, new batch of bounties, um, an entirely new book. Um to pretty much go and have micro achievements for mm -hmm. that allow you and give you different shaders and um, different tags that actually open up different gift boxes. Um, so a lot more stuff than uh, what I was even expecting, to be honest. I didn't even know if I was going to jump back into this. And luckily, everything I've seen so far has been great, and it's, it's given me a reason to really spend time with the game again. Yeah, and I saw that they updated the whole, like, the tower and everything. Yes, yes, like yes. That. They updated the tower... They made it all snowy. Um, they they obviously don't want to make it a Christmas theme type of a situation. Yeah. Um, so they kind of just kept the winter theme, and then they also added in the SRL part of it as well. Um, we'll get to that in a bit. But overall, like I said, they added the quest lines. Quest lines are always big. They added new features, which is great. Uh, new microtransactions, uh, new emotes, new shaders, new ghosts, a bunch of new stuff. So overall, I feel like they did a great job just adding some new content to kind of refresh the community for the next couple weeks. Cool. So, and then also they, they added a couple more things to the racing as well? Yeah, the racing, the SRL, which was actually the, I guess you can say the quote-unquote winter event last year, came yeah. out in January last year. Um, Everybody was clamoring for Sparrow Racing, um, having maps and stuff like that. So last year they came out with the two maps. This year they actually added additional two maps, gave us a grand total of four maps. Which is um, which is awesome. Which is good for yeah. a ra for a racing part. I mean, I'm not a huge racing guy, but I'll sit here and I'll play this. Yeah. Um, but it's it's fun because you know the two maps that came out, they're, they're pretty awesome. The the one has the great soundtrack to it. Yeah, yeah, a really good soundtrack to it. They've added they've added enough variety, I think, amongst all four of them to keep it fresh. Yeah. Um, I never really found myself getting bored on any one of them. Uh, the rotation seems to be pretty good as well. Um, but with SRL, they added a uh, quest line for SRL again. Uh, from a minute holiday they added um more bounties daily bounties that you're going to actually increase the rep of the srl to get packages um so that aspect of it is is good i think the biggest takeaway from srl this time around is that last year srl came we had the two maps we had the event and then it just vanished right. for an entire year yeah. this time they're not going to keep the playlist around they're going to allow you though to pretty much play srl and the maps um, in private matches. Yeah. So if you want to do it, or if you want to go and complete the dawning book and get the rest of your achievements, the rest of your shaders, the rest of your uh, your, your items, um, it's still going to be there, and you can still go into a private match of of uh, SRL and unlock whatever you need to unlock. Still. That yeah. Book's not going which away. is awesome. And last year too, the SRL book you actually had to buy. It yeah. wasn't free like it was this year. So. Props to fixing that. Yes, because no one likes paying more than they have to. No. And thankfully, most of the stuff right now, there's always this big worry that we're going to kind of hop over the line and go to play or to buy to win. Right. Uh, type of scenario. So far, they haven't. Yeah. Which is good. They're just keeping it to, like I said, like different emotes and shaders and all that other stuff, which is fine. Um, or skins. Yeah. Skins. Cool. So... And then, now talking about the Vanguard Elite, I mean, they added some new things to there. Yeah, the Vanguard Elite, pretty much, they added three weekly bounties um, that you pick up every single week yeah. that will drop high end, end game, I'm sorry, high light end game armor um, or, or, or uh, equipment. 
Which is good, which means that you don't have to necessarily worry about doing a raid, necessarily worry about doing Trials of Cyrus on the multiplayer side of it, um, or necessarily wait for Iron Banner every single month. Right. So every week you have a chance of getting those higher tier items, mm -hmm. which is great. Yeah. Um, anything that helps the progression, because um, this game is definitely meant to be played with others, but there are some people that just play by themselves. Which is crazy, because I've There's tried it, and it's insane. I'd rather just play with Carmine or a bunch yeah. of friends and just do something it's such a great experience yeah it's just it's, it's unlike anything I've ever like played and that's why I keep coming back to it because of co-op experience um, like the thing is like me and like my fire team or my clan will play for a period of time and then we'll break away you know we'll go like, the holiday come up so everybody was playing Battlefield Call of Duty right, or something right. like that this dropped we're all back yeah you know like, it's good we all come back and it's like we never actually stop playing again so like I said it's just a great great experience and it's it's uh, it's really awesome to actually be a part of the community because it is such a flourishing and and, and, and usually pretty positive community. Oh, absolutely. Everybody has their, their complaints, but yeah, overall not too bad. And the gameplay, uh, you know, it's still the same. But they added some certain things, like there was just one part where you going down the hallway and you ran into an ogre. Yeah, and that, <laughs> and that was the the other thing is that the with the Vanguard Elite they updated three of the strikes mm -hmm. um, from year one. So that yeah, year one, yes, year one, year one. Uh, because I was thinking of the Omnigal Strike, and I was like, is that year one? It was year one, so that was uh, the Crota expansion. But um, they updated three strikes, and with those updates, they made a harder difficulty version of it, um, where you pretty much, they messed with the whole system in the sense, or the whole layout of different uh, traps or enemies or whatever the case may be. They changed some of the actual uh, boss mechanics as well um, to add another another level of challenge um but yeah just what you were talking about before like um in the tanix strike um you're going down a hallway and usually you can run through the entire first part of that no matter what difficulty it is as long as you're decent enough flight level you're gonna get past it yeah run run all the way through it so the first time that i did it i'm running down the hallway and all of a sudden there's an ogre there i'm like <laughs> i don't remember this ogre being there so i had to kind of take a step back and kind of reassess yep. what was going to happen because <laughs> what i was going to do was not going to actually work um but yeah so there was like that kind of stuff's exciting um and a lot of times too they change things so if some, some parts are kind of hard and it has to push you into a corner to try and beat it they give you they either put something there to prevent you from kind of cheesing it in that sense mm -hmm. or they give you another option or maybe they lower the difficulty down maybe on enemy count it seems like so it's a lot more approachable and doable because some of the strikes when the first came out was just almost unbearable yeah especially like the nightfall strikes is like hard to even get past certain points oh yeah or you had to kind of hunker down in a, in a single area and actually beat, beat a boss that way which would take a long time mm -hmm. so overall the revamp strikes alone were great but now you do have more bounties you have the three weekly as i was talking about with the vanguard elite you got them from zavala every single week and then um even at the uh the bounty board you have six additional uh elite bounties which is just strikes and it just gives you rep and boosts your rep. Yeah. But, um, the, uh, and then the other part of that is, is the scoring aspect of it. The scoring aspect, you get, like, every time you make a kill, every time you get a grenade kill, there's different, um, primary, secondary streaks, um, that just continue to give you points. And the idea is, is to get as many points as you can because elite bounties actually have certain tiers that you have to hit in order to actually even accomplish those bounties yeah so overall again can't say enough about it it's actually i really really like where they're going with it and they've added a lot of replayability and with the vanguard it's not go or the vanguard elite with the strike scoring and all that other stuff it's not going away after the update like, yeah it's going to be there it's not going to just be here for the few the couple weeks that it's here and go away and we're never going to hear for from it again for another year it's going to be there it's going to be available for anybody to jump in and play and hopefully boost up their life all right that's awesome all right guys well i really enjoyed playing destiny's event the dawning i uh, had a great time with it brought me right back in jumped back in played some strikes to some srl got some really awesome loot uh, so i'm really excited to see where we're kind of headed with destiny destiny 2 is supposedly rumored to be right around the corner but there's going to be a gap in time where they kind of they have to keep coming out with these events so hopefully they can keep going on this upward trend and start and, and keep giving us this quality content that they're giving us yeah but john what were some of your final thoughts on it yeah i mean i liked it i've been played in a long time as you know and the updates that are here are just fantastic i mean the strikes they're just so much better they're revamped and you know the, the racing i like a lot too 
And I think that's awesome now that you're going to keep it instead of get rid of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Any kind of content that you can keep is just more content for the yeah, absolutely. to consume. So. so, but guys, let us know what you think. Uh, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Really want to know what you guys thought about this because it's the first time we've done this type of a format video. So get back to us. Let us know if we're crazy, if you want some of the back, us going back to the Let's Plays, whatever the case may be. But uh, we really appreciate your feedback. And uh, that's pretty much it, John. You want to take us out? Yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm John for Cartridge Blast Gamers. I'm Carmine. Stay awesome, guys, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.